Hey guys, what's going on? So today we got this uh, fridge dairy uh, microwave here. Uh, and we got a rooster here. And he is going to tear apart this microwave and show you guys what you guys can possibly get out of microwaves. Uh, so he's going to be doing the video. Uh, we're going to see how much copper we get, wire, aluminum, whatever. Um, so stay tuned for that. If that's something you're interested in, do us a favor, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to ring that bell so you're notified for future videos. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hey guys, we are back. Okay, we are going to get started here. We're going to let Rooster take over the video here. Let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy his uh, video and uh, if he speaks loud enough because it's sometimes, you know, he's a little shy. So, all right, guys, bear with him and let's go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take out all these screws. They're star bits. Mm -hmm. Up here too. Okay. We have a little pontoon down there for our screws. So this is going to be cast or uh, extruded aluminum.
that aside for oh, wait. Let me see. There's a little thing in here. This is our aluminum. Is this miscellaneous? Huh? Is this miscellaneous? Oh, a little one sheet goes over there in that barrel. Sheet barrel. We have our motor right here. Guys, we show a video on how to take apart these motors as well. So if that's something you want to see, we'll leave a link down in the description to that video. So we'll show you guys a little close up here. A little copper motor here, some wire, magnetron, capacitor, transformer. And then over here, there's a motor right here as well, guys. See that? We don't know if it's copper yet, but we'll let you know. We'll put this off to the side for now, though. We're just cutting the wire off. Now we're going to use your file on that Out. That side's aluminum. There you did the top. No, you I didn't. The I did the bottom. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. You did the same for people. Need a file. The reason why these are 45% because if you look inside, there's more insulation than there is actual wire.
now you can get a better view of the side. Got our little transformer in here first. The board just goes as 10 because there's nothing really on there. Like, there are some relay switches and stuff, but we don't really go after them. Off, we can get to this little motor right here. That screws over top of it. Rear motor. There's two screws. And guys, we've done a video on scrapping these out too. If you guys are interested in it. Look at uh, the copper motor videos on our playlist. But yeah, we got a big container of them to do still. Probably squeeze that bit mm -hmm. right in there. There's a little square right there to get it. So guys, the reason why we take these out, see those little black pieces there? Those are the magnets that we use on the wall. There's Plus there's sheet copper. aluminum here, and then there's copper in the middle of that piece. So all right, we can get rid of that. That's tin shred if you want to. Go ahead and chuck that in the truck. So much lighter now, it's like that. All right. So now, let's brush all that off. All right. Uh, screws right here and these here are just plastic so you want to shred after we're done Drop it. or something. Knock those off. There's a little tab inside. Keeps it in. They have these on furnace motors as well. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Just use your axe then. Yeah. Wow. What I'm seeing here. Why don't we scratch that first to see if it is copper? Because if it ain't copper, then you don't need to go get it. And it's copper. 
It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so then we need to get it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, there's screws right here that we could probably squeeze and then wow. throw out. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, too. But if you bang those plastic bits off. It'd be easier? Yeah. Just like that. You Mm. Let's just take this plastic piece off. Alright, hold this. Hold this. Dad's got this. <laughs> Why are we inventing more than one side of the axe for the hatchet? Now these here could either be zinc or cast aluminum. This one's on the side too. We need to check, or they could be steel, we never know. I think they would be zinc though. Just the one. There you go. There's our motor. Wire on. The motor goes over here. All the rest of the motors. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. And do us a favor. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and ring that bell so you're notified for the next one. Until next time, keep scrapping. Have a good day, guys. That's right. Take care, y'all. And most importantly, don't forget to wash your damn hands.